Hey guys, Pablo with BND and a veteran point of view. And today we're going to be taking a look on the 11 myths about autism. So one of the reasons why I'm covering this subject today is since one of my videos uh, a couple of months ago that was entitled Parents Against Autistic Kids, I actually had a lot of comments from people in the spectrum. And as I mentioned that video, my daughter actually is on the spectrum as well. And I start realizing that a lot of people really don't understand what autism is, uh, even the United States. And to be honest with everybody, until over a decade ago, when my daughter was diagnosed, I actually had no idea. I was one of those people that actually saw, you know, Rayman with Dustin Rothman as every autistic person. After I actually came to live in Brazil for the last few months, I realized that the United States is actually doing really well compared to other countries. Most countries like Brazil, people really do not understand what autism is. And that creates a huge, huge issue because kids are not diagnosed. And what I learned about even late diagnosis, you do not actually harness the full potential of the child. So, for example, uh, my daughter, she is autistic, she has Asperger's syndrome. She does have two black belts in Taekwondo. She plays three different instruments. Uh, she sings on choir. She actually sang on Carnegie Hall years ago. And now she actually got a part to star in a movie. And that's an autistic kid who is also on honors on high school. What do I mean by that? Uh, the difference between her and some other parents I met that actually have kids in the spectrum is she was diagnosed early. Therefore, we could work with her. Uh, she went to psychologists to be able to work in some of uh, her interpersonal communication skills. But many kids don't have that. Also, on top of that, you have issues like parents. A lot of times they look at autistic kids as freaks because they're different. And they pass that to their kids that will grow up with that mentality as well. So I'm sorry if I'm rambling. I'm sorry if I'm taking too long to say that. But let's start the video and let's take a look on 11 myths about autism. Myth number one, people with autism don't want friends. Okay, uh, and... I know that may look even silly uh, for people that understand a little bit of autism, but the truth is, uh, autistic kids are a lot of times a little more reserved, and they struggle with social skills, uh, they have some issues interacting with peers. And because of that, a lot of kids think they're unfriendly, uh, and I can tell you for sure that's not true. Actually, kids with autism, they actually seek friends. The only thing is, most other kids don't seek people with autism as friends. I don't know if people really understand the suicide rate of kids with autism. It's really high. And I'll give part of the reason for that is a lot of people tend to isolate them. So just don't do it. Those kids are exceptional. And honestly, after you get them, they're probably some of the best kids to be around. Myth number two. People with autism can't feel or express any emotion, happy or sad. Again, that's the same issue we're talking about. Uh, they do struggle with social skills. A lot of times for them to express that they're happy or sad. It, it's not uh, the way people without autism would actually express. But they feel the same emotions as you feel. Okay? They just communicate their emotions in a very different way. Myth number three. People with autism can't understand the emotions of others. See, autism often affects an individual's ability to understand and spoke interpersonal communication. So a lot of times they may not detect sadness if they just look at you or, for example, even the word sarcasm. They really struggle with those things. Now, while... I think people should express themselves directly if they see that there was a misunderstanding on their emotions. If someone or someone you know have a kid with autism, there's a lot of interpersonal communication coaches that 
they work wonders. Uh, my daughter been going for years, and she still struggles a bit, but she's so much better understanding when people are sad or happy. Again, it's all about you taking the time to understand those kids. Myth. People with autism are intellectually disabled. <laughs> Look, that's probably the biggest lie ever. See, autism is a spectrum disorder. What it means, it, it, there's a wide range of autism. So you, you can't just assume, okay? A lot of times, uh, depending on in, in what side of the spectrum they are, they actually may have some challenges. But the truth is, many people with autism have normal to high IQs. They're usually excellent in math, music, things in general. Most things that actually use their memory uh, are amazing for them. They're very artistic. And, and like I said, I'm talking from experience, okay? There's a lot of famous people with autism. There's a lot of Hollywood directors, Hollywood actors, scientists. And I'll be honest, those guys are geniuses. And a lot of them, you can't even tell they have autism. So don't think just because someone's different, they're not smart they're, or they're not as smart as you. Uh, their interests may actually differ from yours. And that's really what I have to say about that. Number five, people with autism are just like Dustin Hoffman character in Rayman. Look, that's probably one of the worst concepts I've ever seen. But then again, over a decade ago, that's how I thought every autistic person was. And yes... Even if you have mild autism, you will have a lot of those things. Uh, loud sounds, a lot of information may overwhelm you. You know, if you don't know, if by some chance you don't know how to work with that. The way my daughter does is she always carry uh, mufflers or headphones with her. And they don't have to be connected to an iPod or anything. What she does is... She actually puts those headphones over her ears when she is getting too much stimuli, and that helps her block the excess noise. It, or if that's too many people and she feels uncomfortable, what she usually does is she removes herself for a little bit until she comes down. Those are things that you need to learn to work. And yeah, no, Rayman. I'm not saying some autistic kids don't have, or actually not just autistic kids, but autistic people in general, they don't have those issues. But like I said, that's a spectrum. And you have people in both sides of the spectrum. All right, number six. People who display qualities that may be typical of a person with autism are just odd and will grow out of it. Like autism stems from biological conditions that affect brain development. And for many individuals, it's a lifelong condition. Well, that's the thing. This thing about growing out of it, I can't believe we're in the 21st century and some people still believe that. Sadly, it's pretty much like a lot of people believe that a, a vaccination is actually creating autism. I don't know. A lot of scientists are studying. There's a lot of spe speculations. And there are even scientists that believe that that's our next step of evolution. But sadly, as we've seen in history and anthropology, every time something new comes up, some uh, new species of... Okay, and if, don't feel offended if, with what I'm saying. I'm just giving an example, but like... When Homo sapiens appeared or, you know, the other race always tries to push those people away. So, look, the only thing I can say is people will not grow out of it. And there is nothing that they should grow out of it. I mean, try to actually get to know an autistic kid or autistic person. You're going to realize that they're not really what you think. And they shouldn't grow out of anything. That's just who they are. I mean, some people are different in many ways. Some people are artists. Some people, I don't know, some people are great singing. Some people suck on singing. And some people are autistic. It, it, it's just who you are. It's brain diversity. Okay, myth number seven. Autism only affects children. I love to hear that. Uh, it's like, that's the same people that treat 
autism as a disease, right? It's like, yeah, you can only catch autism if you're a, ch if you're a child. Well, autism is not a disease, guys, okay? Uh, children with autism will grow up and become adults with autism. A lot of times, you find out an autistic adult that some people may think he didn't have autism before. No, it's just they, he never knew. And you have a lot of cases of guys during college, they struggle uh, and they don't understand why. And because now we study a little bit more about autism, at least in the United States, they end up finding out, well, I had autism all along. Now it explains a lot of issues I had during my life. And I understand this. Those issues is not because they're disabled. Sorry. It's not because they're disabled. Those issues are mostly interpersonal communication issues. Okay? So, yeah, no. Uh, I, I, I can't even believe that's a myth. But I'm actually, just so you guys know, I'm looking at those myths on www.autismspeaks.org. And you guys should check this website. I'm going to actually have the, uh, the link below. But yeah, no, that, that's not how that works. All right, myth number eight. Autism is just a brain disorder. All right, so I'll just read that part. Uh, research has shown that many people with autism also have co-occurring conditions like epilepsy, gastrointestinal disorders, food sensitivities, and many allergies. So... What is that saying? No, it's not just a brain disorder. Autism actually affects many things in your body. Again, I'm not saying it affects in the sense of it's a disease. What I'm saying is you find that people with autism happen to have those disorders for many reasons. It's the same thing as I have vitiligo, and most people with vitiligo also have a thyroid issue and depression. Hey, that's how it is. It's pretty much self-explanatory. All right, myth number nine. Autism is caused by bad parenting. Oh, God. Okay, so pretty much in the 50s, they had a theory called the refrigerator mother hypothesis. Hypothesis. And, and that was pretty much like, you know, uh, autism is caused by mothers that didn't have emotional warranty throughout the kids. So... You know, the kids felt depressed and they develop autism. Again, no, you're born with that, okay? That has nothing to do with bad parenting or anything like that. Now, I will say, if your kid has autism, don't treat him different, him or her. There are things that you will have to do different with them. You, you really need to look at their aptitudes and really reinforce them. But in general, there are just kids, they, they, they're not that different. Myth number 10. The prevalence sense of autism has been steadily increasing for the last 40 years. Okay, true. Um, it's actually in the last 20 years, it's increased about 600%. In 75, it was estimated that 1 in 1,500 had autism. And 2014, it's about 1 out of 59 kids have autism. So, yes, it's true. It's increasing. Um, and again, that can be for many factors. So one of the factors we could look at is autism wasn't well known. Or people knew about autism, but they, they really didn't study that deep. Plus the spectrum, some people have low-level autism, some people have high-level autism. So, you know, uh, we know more of it, so now we can identify. So that alone would increase the numbers. And the second is, if it is an evolutionary uh, issue, that would also explain the raise on that percentage. All right, guys, myth number 11. Therapies for people with autism are covered by insurance. Now, that's very important because many insurance companies exclude autism from the coverage plan. Uh, about 48 of the 50 U.S. states have passed some form of autism insurance coverage law, uh, thanks to the work of advocates, and I'll tell you, like, those kids, uh, most of the care they really need is, for example, uh, interpersonal skill coaches, things like this, and also for a lot of therapists that help even parents understand 
some limitations and, and some things that they are more strong in. So for me, that, that's something that we should, really should look into. And mostly because I feel, uh, I know in my channel a lot of times, I will kind of, looks like I'm going to a crusade against feminists, against genderless babies and things like that. But the real truth is because I've been reading over the internet about people complaining about cafeteria food being culturally appropriated. Well, you know, you're making General Chow's chicken, but you're modifying that. Well, first of all, General Chow's chicken is not even Chinese food. You eat in Chinese restaurants, but you go to China, you won't be able to find it. And, and low grades being abolished because you shouldn't get a D. You should be the worst doctor in the whole world and still graduate and kill about 90% of your patients because... You know, we live in a generation that you got to give trophies just for participation. I mean, you're in college, you should pass every class even if you don't show up. So I do have issues with that, okay? Those people would be using their time much better if they're actually going to protest about better health care, better chances for kids with autism, for example. Uh, they have autistic foundations. It, it, that's what you should be doing. Not to waste your time with stupid freaking rants and stupid freaking everything. I mean, come on. There's so many more important issues to worry about. I know I'm ranting, guys. It's just stuff like that really, really upsets me. I would like to really thank all the people that watched that video. And my heart goes to everybody in this spectrum. Not just because... My daughter has a spec is on the spectrum, but I get a lot of love in the comments from those guys. And almost sometimes you're having a bad day and you get like a nice comment or even like a conversational comment. It's awesome, guys. Um, if you don't know much about autism, I would urge you guys to learn some. And I say that because countries like Brazil, where I've been living, people have zero to no knowledge. Um, I know a kid, he's uh, studying psychology right now, and he's trying to make a really big push for a better understanding in the country of autism. And it's sad to see that it's one kid, you know, in the goddamn country trying to really push professors and even the government to, to, to go into it. But, you know, that's how everything starts. It's one person, right? Again, guys, I hope you guys like this video. I'm um, sorry if I'm not like a really high verse person in the subject. Uh, I just know those things from experience. If you like this video, give me a like. Uh, or if you didn't, give me a dislike. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's a subject you would like me to actually cover. Um, if you have more information, I urge you again to leave that in the comments. Let me know. I mean... I want to learn, and if I have a chance to make another video, maybe with more information, I'll do so. Um, thank you again. I hope you all have a great weekend. And that's it. Um, you know, learning every day. That's the best thing you can do. Take care, guys. Bye.